Microsoft CEO Bill Gates once said that the Wright brothers created the single greatest cultural force since the invention of writing. The airplane became the first World Wide Web, bringing people of different languages, ideas, and values together. As with the internet, however, the law lagged behind airplane technology. In the 1930s, lawmakers began to catch up. New companies called airlines began to fly and crash. The need to create and enforce a dedicated set of rules for flight was self-evident. Consider, airplanes do not wander about in the sky like vagrant clouds. Rather, they move only by a government's permission, subject to inspection by certified personnel and under an intricate system of legal commands. In fact, the moment an airplane taxis onto a runway, it is caught up in an elaborate and detailed system of controls. It takes off only by instruction from the control tower. It travels on prescribed highways in the sky. It may be diverted from its intended landing, and it obeys signals and orders. Its privileges, rights, and protection, so far as transportation is concerned, is determined by the law. This class, aviation law, will explore those laws through court decisions, statutes, treaties, and policies enacted by states, Congress, and international authorities. Our journey will take us through various areas of business law, the Constitution, and even outer space. Aviation law will impress you with new devices like drones, terrify you with stories about hijackings and terrorism and fatal accidents, and inspire you about human ingenuity and improvisation. I am Professor Tim Ravitch. Of the more than 95,000 lawyers in Florida, I am one of 37 who is board certified in the area of aviation law. I have represented aviation clients around the world, and there is no area of the law more exciting to me. I look forward to sharing that enthusiasm with you this semester. Welcome aboard.